Hi, I'm Christina and this is a book review of Miracle Creek by Angie Kim. So this is a contemporary novel with a mystery element at its heart. It was published in 2019 and it's her debut novel. So this story is set in Virginia and our central family are the Yu family. They have emigrated from South Korea to Virginia and they now own a small business which is a treatment centre where patients who have cerebral palsy, autism and infertility issues go there. Now one day there is an incident, there is an explosion at this treatment centre and two people die and the story itself is essentially a court drama. So the first chapter is the incident itself. And then the story is split into a few parts. We have day one of the trial, day two of the trial, day three of the trial, and then we see a year after the trial. So yeah, this is definitely a courtroom drama at its heart. And I really, really enjoyed this one. I gave it four stars. So this story is told through six different perspectives and I have actually written everyone down because that was a lot of different perspectives and that is one thing that I would say about this book is that there are a lot of people involved in this and a lot of people are introduced very quickly so I found it useful to make some notes on you know everybody's names and their occupation and just kind of how they're involved in this story because otherwise I think I got a, could have got a little bit confused and I think that's one of the main reasons that I didn't give this book five stars and also it was a little bit slow to start um, so that's kind of my reasoning behind not giving it a five stars but like I say it was a four star and I very much enjoyed it so let me tell you a little bit about the characters in this story so the first perspective we have is young you and she is the mother of Mary she's the wife of Pac and she is one of the owners of the treatment center and then we also have a perspective from a man called Matt Thompson and he is a radiologist and he is a patient at the treatment centre because he has infertility issues and I'm going to keep looking down because I have to write down the names and then we have Teresa Santiago and she is the parent of one of the children who is a patient at um, this treatment centre and then we also have the perspective from Pac Yu and he is the father of Mary, he's the husband of Young and he is the owner of um, the treatment centre and he's the one with the expertise as well so his wife is obviously involved in the business but it's him who has kind of the medical experience you would say and he was the one who kind of had the idea of um, making this their business in Virginia and so we hear from him and then we also have the perspective from Mary Yu and she is their daughter, Young and Pac's daughter and um, she is a student essentially and she kind of helps out with the business I would say um, it's not her main focus she's obviously focusing on her studies the kind of going into college kind of thing but she is a, she's part of it you would say she's definitely a part of the business and then the final um, perspective that we see from is Elizabeth Ward and she is also a parent of one of the children at the treatment center who is a patient there sorry and he has autism so lots of different perspectives, lots of different people, and Elizabeth Ward is the one who is on trial for murder. So we know that an explosion has happened and most of the story, we're just seeing from everyone's perspective, seeing, you know, who had a motive and lots of people did, who had the opportunity, and again, lots of people did, and just trying to unravel all of the secrets behind that night. Um, lots of things were going on, there was lots of people involved and there's definitely a lot of lies and there's a lot of things that people are keeping hidden. So yeah, I thought it was it was really well done. Um, like I say, it was a little bit slow to start and I do think there was an onslaught of characters originally so I, I did have to make a couple of notes because um, I was just going to lose track. But like I say, I really enjoyed it. She was very, very good at character development. She's very good at kind of pointing the finger at someone and then kind of pointing it to someone else and just making you see like all the different sides of the story. So obviously you see from six people's perspectives um, and you see from their perspectives in the order that I told you about them. That's how you are introduced to the characters. So from the beginning, you're kind of more primed to believe certain people 
um, you know, because you hear from them first. So they're the kind of ones that are setting the story in your mind. They're the ones who are giving you, you know, the basics of the story. And then as obviously you move on into different perspectives and you hear from different people, you start kind of questioning what has been said, you know, by different characters and kind of like the chain of events that has unfolded. So yeah, you definitely sit there and you're trying to kind of piece it all together and try and work out, you know, who was involved and um, who had certain reasons for doing certain things. And obviously the kind of motive, like, is it is it murder? Is it arson? Is it an accident? Is it is it what is it? So yeah, I thought it was really good and I would recommend it. Um, it definitely kept me engaged towards the end. I thought it was a brilliant, brilliant start. That first chapter absolutely drew me in. It was a very much like starting it with a bang. And then um, I would say the pace slowed down a little bit from there um, when we were seeing all the different characters. And then definitely at the end, I was quite, quite excited to find out what had happened who was involved. And just afterwards, obviously, we see the aftermath of the trial. So we kind of see what happened to all of the characters, um, what kind of repercussions have happened, what consequences have happened because of that night. So yeah, I thought, I thought it was really good. I think she writes a courtroom drama very, very well. Um, she is actually a trial lawyer herself by her profession. So I think you can tell that kind of authenticity is in here. It it feels very real, it feels very authentic. So there's actually seven different perspectives. I forgot to turn over the piece of paper. So the seventh perspective is Janine Chow, and she is the wife of Matthew, who is the doctor, who is one of the patients at the treatment center because he has infertility issues. So yeah, lots of different perspectives, lots of different characters. Now, some of the themes that this story explores are obviously the theme of family and the theme of love and we also have the theme of grief that is a massive theme in this book and we also look at motherhood at parenthood and we look at disability and caregiving and also kind of belonging and community and identity so lots of different themes in this and I thought it was all handled very, very well. And she's very good at uh, writing characters. We really get to see how each of the characters thinks, how they feel, how they react to certain situations. And I have to say at times it is very, very raw, especially um, the ones who are parents of children and obviously the parents um, of the child that died in the explosion. And just all of those things, like I say, it was very deep at times, very raw, very kind of emotional and heartfelt. And I think one of the other themes that I thought was really interesting is the idea that um, even actions at the time that seem very small, very inconsequential, um, can have a massive impact. Kind of the idea of serendipity, if you will. So at some stages, um, something that's just very tiny and small and just something that you do, um, might actually set the path to make this even bigger thing go into motion. So obviously if this little tiny action hadn't have happened, the circumstances wouldn't have been right for this other action to have happened. Um, and if you read the book, you'll, you'll, you'll understand what I mean by that. And I thought that was a very interesting theme, that kind of idea that even though um, you know, kind of who is responsible, the idea of culpability, um, who is, not, I guess, assigning blame, essentially, who is responsible for this explosion and the deaths of these people and um, the permanent injury of some of the other people. And I guess the idea is that lots of different people are responsible in a fashion you know if this didn't happen then this wouldn't have happened and then the circumstances wouldn't have been right for this to happen and yeah i thought that was all very very interesting it all makes this kind of interconnected web of things that have happened and yeah i thought it was really really well done i really liked it uh i thought she had she writes characters very very well and yeah it was a good story very good so thank you so much for watching. 
If you have read this book, I would love to know your thoughts on it down in the comments below. And as this is her debut novel, I am very much looking forward to picking up her second book. I'm definitely going to pick up whatever she writes next because I really enjoyed this one. It was a four star read and I would highly recommend it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please do like the video if you liked it and please do subscribe if you'd like to see more of me talking about books. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.